My daughter's birthday is just around the corner, so I suddenly decided to tackle some of the cluttered storage spots around the house. I decided to dive into the KonMari method. You know that organizing philosophy by Maria Kondo. That's all about surrounding yourself with items that generally makes you happy and asking yourself if each item really brings you joy. It's all about decluttering by holding each item and really pondering. Does this spark joy for me? If it doesn't, you thank it for its service and let it go. Keeping only what truly matters. So in my daily tidying routine, I've been trying to sprinkle in a bit of the KonMari magic. It's actually pretty simple. I just pull everything out of the area I'm focusing on, clear out the space, and then sort through what to keep and what to part with. While the KonMari method emphasizes joy, we all have essential items that might not necessarily spark joy, right? Like everyday items, or kids stuff, or items we need to keep for events. When it comes to those, I've found a way to sort through them by first taking everything out and then deciding what's necessary and what's not. Often it's pretty clear which items are no longer needed and those I get rid of. For items I'm on fence about, if I haven't used them in three years, I'm likely to dispose of them. The pandemic made me rethink this time frame a bit, opting for a longer span in deciding whether to keep or discard items. But generally, if something hasn't been used in about three years, it's either item to let it go or give it away, unless it's too hard to part with, in which case I might store it again. Every time I empty a closet or a shelf, I'm shocked at how much stuff I've got. It's overwhelming at first. Oh, this is the storage area I hadn't touched since we moved in, filled with all the bedding, electrics, and baby gear. It seems to get messier before it gets tidier. It's like when you are in the middle of cleaning up, Everything ends up looking even more scattered. But once I push through and get everything in order, it feels so refreshing. I really like it. So I do this once in a year or twice in a year. Going through everything, deciding what stays and what goes was quite the journey. It's crucial to find a proper place for each item, giving everything a home. I prepared the decorations for my daughter's birthdays on the day itself. I got so tired just from inflating balloons. <laughs> Even though I wasn't using my mouth but a pump. Maybe it's because it was a manual pump. I wonder if I should use an, an electric pump next time. Not sure if it exists though. Anyway, I was decorating all over the place. But the P in the happy birthday balloon letters popped and I didn't have a spare for it. I was super sad, but unfortunately, there was nothing I could do about it. He was very excited about the party too, so he helped me a lot for cleaning up. I asked a friend who is an expert at hosting home parties for advising on everything from start to finish. After preparing everything based on her suggestions, the party turns out to be incredibly successful.
We did a birthday party just with my family on another day. This time, I made a homemade cake by myself. It was a simple scoop cake using castella. It wasn't too sweet, and the sourness of the fruits, along with the sweetness of the cream and castella, balanced out perfectly. And it was so delicious. Pour the syrup you reduced earlier over the castella. Put the whipping cream and brown sugar into a bowl and whip them out. It's okay if the mixture is a bit soft. This cake is also delicious after being left to rest overnight. The final step of decorating the cake is fun, isn't it? Everyone ate it, but my daughter was incredibly happy and even asked for seconds. And the Tenchan, the younger one, only ate the fruit and cream, and leaving the sponge cake behind. Look at this, it looks so delicious! The key point is to drizzle maple syrup over it at the end. The birthday present was a digital pad. It's like a Tamagotchi. Knowing that there would be definitely be a fight over just one, I went out of my way to buy two and give them different colors to the two of them. The birthday week was tough week for me, but I'm so happy at the same time that Sue enjoyed her 7th birthday. Thank you for watching.